Melanie Gerondola, a 52-year-old mom of three from Burlington County's life was cut short while she was hit by a car attempting to cross Route 130 in Del Ran at the intersection of North Millside Drive last Friday. Sadly, Melanie is one of four pedestrians killed on the busy highway in less than a year. In 2016, five people died trying to cross Route 130 in Burlington County. And according to NJ State Police, Melanie is the first fatality of this year trying to cross Route 130. I spoke with Maddie Brellisford, who has been a dear friend of Melanie's for more than a decade. She was just a great person. She had a huge heart. She loved everybody. She never looked at the bad in nobody. She always tried to find good people. Now, I went out to the intersection where Melanie was trying to cross, not too far away from where she lived at the Hunters Glen Apartments. And to put it in perspective, Route 130 is three lanes in both directions, a lot of heavy traffic. And for six years in a row, it has been named one of the most dangerous highways for pedestrians by the Tri-State Transportation Campaign. Delran police say Melanie was crossing the intersection when there was a don't walk signal. And also it happened while it was snowing, so visibility was pretty low. They say at this point, there have been no charges filed against the driver. Maddie says Melanie's children right now are with her ex-husband and the youngest, who is eight, uh, they are telling her that her mother died in surgery because they don't want her to know that she died in such a violent fashion. I'm just, I'm just gonna miss her a lot and I just hope she rests in peace and I'll carry her in my heart forever. I take Route 130 every day going to work and headed back to my house and I never really realized how dangerous the highway was. The part that hits me the most is just how now three children are without their mom and it's just devastating. My prayers go out to her family, friends and loved ones. We all specifically probably know a street in our town that has a crosswalk, but it's still very dangerous. In nine years, they found 47,000 people across the United States are killed walking across the street. And that's 16 times more than people are killed in natural disasters. I think a lot of times you're freezing, you want to get across the street, but we have to pay attention to these signals. I grew up in Queens, and in Queens, there's a uh, Queens Boulevard is very well known, and it's also known as the Boulevard of Death. A lot of uh, older people and the elderly were getting killed because they thought they could make it across if they just walked fast and they couldn't. So what they ended up doing is adding some sound effects to make people more aware that you know what, you really don't have the time. I'm surprised there's even a way to cross that on foot. I mean, six lanes.